G'day boys and girls, Bernard here. I hope you're well today, and I hope it's been a great week for you. Well, as I'm sitting here at my desk, uh, enjoying the view out the front of me, enjoying my new chair and spinning around in circles and stopping my kids doing the same, I was thinking there are some things that are just amazing in this world. And some things I look at and I scratch my head and I kind of go, can you be sure that that's going to work? Uh, let me show you an example. Let me just grab my prop here. Uh, this is something one of my children put together earlier on. Yeah, you know what that is, don't you, boys and girls? It's Lego, I know. Uh, but it's a water bomber. Uh, it's an aeroplane that carries a load of water to put out fires. We saw a lot of them on the news last year during the bushfires, didn't we? But aeroplanes, I think, are pretty amazing. In fact, when I look at an aeroplane, I kind of go, how can I be sure that that's actually going to fly? Because it just is bamboozling. And let me give you some statistics, some facts about an aeroplane, the Boeing 747. Uh, it can carry 460 people plus. It's 76 metres long, 19 metres high. Its wingspan, so from the tip of each wing to the other tip, is 68.4 metres. Its payload, so what it carries, 76 tonne. It can fly 14,320 kilometres, and it can go as high as 13.1 kilometres. When it takes off, it can weigh as much as, have a think about this, 447,700 kilograms. That's a big number. How does that big lump of steel with all those people in it get up in the air as high as 13 kilometers? How can I be sure that it's not gonna fall out of the sky? I was thinking about that on my desk as I was swinging around on my new chair. I think there are two reasons we can be sure that that Boeing 747 isn't going to crash. The first is, yep, that's right, evidence. There's a whole lot of evidence, facts, that go together to put that aeroplane up in the sky. Everything from laws of nature to how things stay in the air to the way air works and the way engines work and fuel works. There's evidence that this is going to happen, that I can be sure. And then the second thing is, there's my experience of the evidence. Well, experience tells us that all those things work together, all those facts work. When I hop in an aeroplane, I can be confident that it's going to stay in the air and my experience of that evidence tells me I can be sure. Let me tell you about another really impossible thing. In fact, it's in our Bible reading for today from Genesis chapter 18, verse 10. The Lord said to Abraham, I'll certainly come back to you in about a year's time and your wife Sarah will have a son. Now Sarah was listening at the entrance of the tent behind him. Abraham and Sarah were old and getting on in years. Sarah had passed the age of childbearing, so she laughed to herself. After I've become shriveled up and my Lord is old, will I have delight? How is it possible? How can they be sure that Sarah and Abraham, who are both really old and wrinkly, over 90, how can they be sure that God can do what he promised? Give them a baby. Give them a baby boy. How can you be sure? Well, God wants them to be sure. In fact, God's been working to remind them how important it is to remember the evidence. God's committed to them. God's done things time and time again over many years to show them that he can do exactly as he promised. There's evidence there that God is committed and capable of making this promise come true. Not only is there evidence, but there's their experience of the evidence. Time and time again, Abraham and Sarah have experienced in their life what God can do. How God can do what he promises and fulfill his commitments. 
sometimes we're like Sarah, aren't we? We just laugh. How can we be sure that God can do this? Well, let me tell you, we can be just as sure as Abraham and Sarah because the evidence of God's character and ability is there in history. And as we live with him as our God, our experience of the evidence tells us that God can do impossible things. God can do things that seem impossible, like even forgive our sins through his very own son who lived, died and walked on this earth. How can you be sure? Look at the evidence and experience the evidence in your lives. Let me pray. Dear God, thank you that Abraham and Sarah could be sure that you would keep your promise. Father, thank you that you showed them your ability and commitment and they experienced it. And thank you that you did exactly as you said. Help us to know that same truth about you, that we can be sure that you will do as you say. In Jesus' name, amen. Have a great week.